This is just going to be a quick, short little video. I want to show you guys some stuff I found at a yard sale. Um, last week I talked about going to a, a yard sale where the lady said there was going to be a neighborhood-wide yard sale the next weekend. So we went back, I went with my wife. Uh, she bought a lot of different things, some clothing and stuff. I didn't find that much there, but I did pick up this jewelry from one. I paid $4. I paid $2 for this bag. I paid a dollar for this bag. And then I paid $1 for this piece as well. Uh, so we're going to go through here and see what we found. We'll start with this piece that's off by itself. Uh, you can see the back here. 925. So it's marked as sterling silver. Uh, the clasp is marked as well. Uh, so that's a pretty good piece. Worst case scenario, we'll sell it out of our store. We'll get uh, 10 to 20 bucks for it. And that's worst case scenario. Let's see what's in this one. I don't know if this is multiple pieces in here or one piece. Uh, let's see. All right, so here's one big necklace. Let's see. Oops, sorry. It's marked, <laughs> has a $26.99 price tag on it. It's not worth nearly that for us, but that's all right. It's pretty. And then this looks like one big multi-strand necklace. It's got a price tag of $39.99 on it. I'm looking for markings of any sort on the clasp. It doesn't look like anything that'd be real. But just check and make sure. Nope. All right, so there's those two items. Uh, so these two aren't worth very much, but they will sell well out of our store. Now let's go with this bag here. Now this bag I bought because of one piece. I was looking at it. Now these pearls are real, but they're real low-grade pearls. I don't know what they're worth, really. Uh, but I bought it because of this one piece I saw in there. get it straightened out here. There we go. That big chunky bracelet and you can see in the bag it was marked. I'll show you those markings there. Nope, oh, it around the other way. So it's marked as sterling silver. It's made in Mexico. Real pretty piece here. Uh, stuff like this sells really well. It'll either go on eBay or out of our store. I imagine we'll get 20 bucks for this at least. It's pretty heavy. So that's a great find. Just by itself. This is a broken necklace. Hard to tell about those pearls in there. I think they're, I think they're just costume jewelry, fake pearls. I right, got another little bracelet here. Let's see what else. This is a nice, nice necklace. It's got some markings on the clasp. Let's see if we can read those. I can't, can't make them out. I don't have my jeweler's loop with me. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's like. Costume jewelry, but branded costume jewelry. So I'll lay that over there. All right. Here is that string of pearls that are real. Now it's a broken strand, and they are not individually knotted. I mean, and you can see how just deformed, like these white pearls especially are. But they're real. So worst case scenario, we'll just sell those. Out of our store, uh, I'll have to look and see what I think I can get for those. I really don't know. All right, here's another strand of pearls. The pearls that are on here are real. I can tell just by looking at them, but again, real low grade. Don't really know what they're worth. Let's check the clasp on this. Is it silver? I don't see any markings on it. All right, but another pretty necklace there. I'm gonna lay it out. 
So we got two more in here. All right, so this is broken, unfortunately. And this one here. It's just costume jewelry. Hey, that there. All right, so uh, the the gems in this lot, obviously, is this big bracelet. Uh, this necklace here, that's sterling silver. And then these pearls over here, I really don't know what I can get for them. So I'll, I'll look into that. I imagine not very much, a few dollars. But overall, I'd guess there's about 50 bucks worth of jewelry here, at least. Um, depending on what we can sell these silver pieces for. So it's pretty good.